You have learnt in the previous chapter that how a computer works in three stages that is input, process and output. It accepts input, processes the data according to a set of instructions, then stores it and gives a meaningful output. Thus, a computer system has four main components. Input unit, central processing unit, output unit and secondary storage unit. This chapter will provide a functional overview of the input, output and storage unit of a computer system. Before moving forward, let us first discuss about the input unit. Input refers to the data or instructions which we feed into a computer. Input devices are used to enter data and information into the computer. The input unit converts the incoming data and instructions into a pattern of binary codes which is understood by a computer. Then it further supplies the converted data to the processor for processing. Some of the input devices are discussed below. Keyboard Keyboard is one of the most important input devices used to input data and instructions into a computer. There are mainly five types of keys on a keyboard. Typing keys These keys include letters, alphabet keys, numbers, number keys, punctuation, comma, colon, semicolon, single quote, double quote, and special symbol, plus, minus, minus, dollar, etc. keys. These keys also include the shift, caps lock, spacebar, backspace, and the tab keys. Control keys. These keys are either used alone or in combination with other keys to perform an action. Control, Alt. Windows logo key and the escape key are various examples of control keys. Function key. They are used to perform specific tasks. They are placed on the top row of the keyboard and are labeled as F1 till F12. These keys have different functions in different programs. Navigation keys. They are used for moving through documents or web pages and sometimes for editing the text. These keys include the arrow keys, home end, page up, page down, delete and insert keys. Numeric keypad. The numeric keypad consists of number keys from 0 to 9, the arithmetic operators and the decimal point. It is placed on the right side of a keyboard and is used for entering numbers at a faster pace. Students, do you know who he is? He is Sir Christopher Latham Scholes, who was an American who invented the first Coverty keyboard. Mouse Mouse is the most commonly used input and pointing device that lets you select and move items on the screen. The left mouse button is used more frequently than the right button. A single left click selects an item while double clicking on an item activates the application. The right click often displays a list of commands on the screen. You can also gain access to property settings with the right click. Dragging and dropping makes it easy to move an item on the screen. With this simple technique, one can delete, copy and move files in a file manager. Mouse is also used in drawing packages to draw free hand lines, circles, boxes and other complicated graphic images. Students note the fact file. Mouse was invented by Douglas Angel Bart of Standard Research Center in 1963. Types of Mouse Number 1. Mechanical Mouse This type of mouse has a metal or rubber ball on its lower side that can roll in all directions. The screen pointer moves according to the movement of the ball which is detected by the mechanical sensors within the mouse. Optomechanical Mouse this type of mouse uses a mechanism similar to the mechanical mouse. The only difference is that it uses optical sensors to detect the movement of the ball. Number 3. Optical Mouse Optical mouse does not have any mechanical moving parts. The laser technology is used to detect movement of the mouse. An optical mouse is more efficient and expensive than the mechanical and optomechanical mouse. Stylus a stylus or stylus pen is a small instrument shaped like a pen that is used to provide input to mobile devices, computer screens and tablets. It can be used to draw or make selections on touch screen devices directly on the screen. Using stylus instead of a mouse or a trackball is also called pen computing. Stylus is used on game consoles like Nintendo. Scanner 
It is an input device that scans text, images and objects optically. The scanned data is then converted into a digital image and displayed on the computer screen. Types of Scanner Number 1. Drum Scanner This is the most efficient and expensive scanner. It uses a rotating glass drum to scan. In the drum scanner, the light from the object that is to be scanned is split into separate red, blue and green beams, optically making the image precise. This mechanism is called the Photomultiplier Tubes PMT technology. The drum scanners are used mainly in the publishing industry to print high-quality images in books and magazines. Number 2. Flatbed Scanner This is a popular desktop scanner. It looks like a miniature printer with a flip-up cover protecting the glass window. In a flatbed scanner, the object to be scanned is placed face down on the glass window which is then illuminated with a bright light. It uses the charged couple device CCD technology to read the entire area optically. Depending on its size, a flatbed scanner can fit standard or legal size documents and its flexible cover allows you to scan books, newspapers, articles, photographs, etc. The flatbed scanners are used in homes, schools and media offices. Number 3. Handheld Scanner This is a small manual device which is dragged over the surface of the image to be scanned. These scanners are operated by hand. It is difficult to operate these scanners as they need a steady hand to scan objects in order to avoid distorted images. Barcode scanner is one of the most utilized handheld scanner used in shopping malls. Let us understand this through an activity. How to scan text, graphics and photographs. Open the HP Solution Center on your system. Open the lid of the scanner and place the picture or document you wish to scan facing downwards. Click on the scan document button. You are then prompted to save your file as an editable document or an image. Do not forget to select the location where you want to save this file. After choosing the desired settings, click on the scan button. OCR Optical Character Reader or Recognition it is used to read characters from a printed paper into the computer. The shape of the character is recognized by OCR through a light source in a conjunction with photoelectric cells. When a text page is scanned, it is converted into a computer-readable form and reproduced in a form that looks similar to a page that has been typed. The software then places the text into a document that can be edited using any word processor or text editor. OMR – Optical Mark Reader or Recognition OMR is a device for capturing data formed by dark and light marks on specific positions on the paper. It is a special device that can detect marks made with ink or pencil. OMR requires a special printed paper that contains boxes or circles for shading. The shaded marks are translated into electrical signals based on the presence or absence of shaded marks. This format is used by various entrance examinations for marking objective type questions. The answer sheets are inserted into OMR for calculating the scores. It has great speed and the marking is error free. MICR Magnetic Ink Character Reader or Recognition MICR is primarily used by the banking industry to facilitate the processing of checks. This technology allows computers to read information such as account numbers from the printed documents. MICR characters are printed in special typefaces with a magnetic ink or toner, usually containing iron oxide. As a machine decodes the MICR text, it first magnetizes the characters in the plain surface of the paper. Then the characters are passed over an MICR read head, a device similar to the playback head of a tape recorder. As each character passes over the head, it produces a unique waveform that can easily be identified by the system. Unlike barcodes or similar technologies, MICR codes can easily be read by humans. Barcode Reader It is an input device used for reading barcode present on various products. A barcode is a combination of dark and light stripes. 
It is a computer readable representation of information present in visual format. A barcode reader consists of a light source, a lens, and a light sensor for translating optical impulses into electrical signals. It is a very useful device for billing and inventory applications. Students note the fact file. Barcode printers are special hardware devices used for printing barcode stickers which can be pasted on any product. WASP and Barcode Pro are special softwares for scanning and printing barcodes. Joysticks A joystick is an input device which allows the user to move an object on the screen. It is normally used in video parlors for playing games. It is a moving stick which rests on a base with some push buttons on it. In fact, the stick movements are similar to the gear of a car. The physical movements of the stick are sent to the computers as input to move the cursor or the object at different positions on the screen. This creates emulations in the game making it exciting for the user. Microphone it is an input device used to record and store voice or any other sounds into a computer, generally as a WAV file. It is also used for recording a narration in a PowerPoint presentation. Generally, it is used as a separate component for desktops but can be seen as an integrated component in some laptops. You can notice a special port in these computers where a microphone can be connected. Microphone is commonly used in video conferencing, speech recognition programs, radio broadcasting, recording and sound amplifying systems. Light Pens It is a light sensitive pointing device commonly used to select or modify data on the screen. It allows the user to point on the displayed objects or draw on the screen. Its operation is similar to a touch screen but has greater positional accuracy. It is easy to use and helpful for programs like Computer Aided Design CAT. Voice Input Devices Speech Software A voice input device allows the user to control the computer through voice command instead of using a keyboard. When the user speaks a command, his or her voice gets recorded. Then the computer compares the pattern of the recorded voice to a series of patterns that are stored in the computer. This collection of patterns is called a vocabulary. Some specific action corresponding to a particular matching pattern is then executed. Students note the fact file. This picture represents the speech recognition screen saver on the Toshiba laptop in which the character responds to a set of questions. Digital Camera A digital camera is quite similar to a traditional camera that takes both video and still photographs except for the fact that digital images can be used, viewed and edited on a personal computer. We can also print the photos through a printer. It does not require film roll like a normal camera. Nowadays, mobile phones have inbuilt digital cameras. A webcam is also a kind of digital camera connected to a computer. It is used for video conferencing and online chatting. Webcam Webcam is a short form of the web camera. It is a device primarily used to share a live image in a real time to or through a computer in a network. Generally, a webcam is connected to your computer by a USB cable or built into computer hardware such as laptops. When sent to a remote location, the videos can be recorded, viewed, saved on your hard drive or live streamed over the internet. A webcam is widely used in organizations for video conferencing. Alright, let us understand this to an activity. How to transfer an image from a digital camera to your computer? With the help of a USB data cable, attach the memory card reader of your digital camera to the USB slot located in your PC. Take out the memory card from your camera and place it into the memory card reader. Click on Start and then go to Computer. Open the memory card drive by double clicking on it. Now you have access to all the images stored on the memory card. Select and copy the files that you want to transfer to your computer. Click on Start and open another window of computer. Open the destination drive where you want to paste the images. Paste the copied images in the new folder.
how to remove the flash drive. On the right end of the taskbar, you will find an icon that says safely remove hardware and eject media. Let's click on this icon and you will see a drop down. Click on the drive that you want to eject. Now you will get a pop up on your screen which says that the USB mass storage device can now be safely removed from the computer. Pull out the USB cable of the memory card reader from the system.